Turn that radio way up. <laughs> no, when you ride with Drew, he talks on the cell phone the whole time. <laughs> Starting to think there's no one there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Just turning to uh -huh. avoid. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, do you hear a recurring theme here? What happens when we fly together on a plane? You're always on the phone. No, no. I'm reading or studying. Okay. What's he, no, 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 he's there talking <laughs> mad that I'm not listening to his <laughs> diatribes. All right. It's cracking. All right. Uh, <laughs> is that Eden? Eden? Eden. Eden? Eden? It's in the garden. Yeah. I think I got myself in trouble with the phonetics here. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Didn't I? Yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> What's up? Hi, um, my boyfriend and I have been together for about two years, and sometimes when we spend the night together, I'll notice if I wake up in the middle of the night or the next morning that the sheets are wet. And since we haven't had sex, I've asked him, you know, what's going on? And so what he's told me is that he's had nocturnal emissions. If we're not having sex and he's not masturbating, then the sperm's building up over a period of time and has nowhere to go. Every night? No, this has happened maybe three or four times. He's telling you the truth, I suppose. I suspect he's telling you the truth. What do you suspect? I don't know, because I feel that if you're not masturbating or having sex, that some, the sperm is going to disintegrate or something. No, it builds up. That's what, <laughs> Eden, that's, what nocturn, that's what wet dreams are. That's why guys have wet dreams. If they don't emit it, if they don't cause it to be emitted by masturbating, their body will emit it during the night. Does your body disintegrate anything, by the <laughs> way? It, it does. It can actually decrease its sperm production. It can t reabsorb the sperm. That's what happens when you get a vasectomy. But yeah. you, you, and the, the bitch is that then you get cut a week later and blood doesn't come out. <laughs> And that's humiliating, especially you know working around guys. But, but Eden, that's what. That's, oh, geez, get a Band-Aid, Phil. That's gross. That's what nocturnal emissions are. I mean, that's why they happen when they happen. That's why they happen earlier in a guy's life before he really starts masturbating. It just happens spontaneously and doesn't happen so much later when he's sexually active. Well, and for a lot of the guys, that's that gets them started. You know what I mean? What do you mean? That gets well, them masturbating. Or... You, you, hit, you hit puberty at, you know, 13. Uh, you don't think to uh, masturbate until you're at 14 and a half. There's mm. like a year and a half in there. All of a sudden, you're falling asleep. You're dreaming of uh, Adrian Barbeau <laughs> or Connie Francis. I don't know. Maybe this is old school, but uh, it's becoming too cathartic. But the point is, something comes out, and you go, hey, this thing's work. Hey, someone turn the, the water on. This is good. And then you finish. Then from that point on, you're on your own. Yeah. So he's probably telling you the truth, OK? OK. All right. All right. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> I know. I, 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 I brought it on myself, didn't I? Wait to see what the garbage man do to you uh, next week. Oh, hey, screw all those <laughs> bastards. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to th throw away hippo. I, does anyone have hippo crap? Does anyone run like a zoo or some sort of uh, game uh, farm. pen farm or something? Because I'm looking for hippo dung. That's what I want to do. It's now become war. All right, this guy's tall. He plays basketball, or at least he did. He did so well, he got three championship rings, Ooh. and he hosts a bunch of shows. He's one of these guys you hate, really, because he's tall, he's good looking, he's good at athletics, and he's like funny and smart, too. John Sally's here. <laughs> I now feel sorry for all short guys. <laughs> right. You know what it feels like. What that would feel like. No, it, it never sucks. happens on this show. No one ever does this. No, they should. So most of the guys I think are... Well, it, <laughs> Diane, Diane, <laughs> Diane just intimidates Diane them. keeps pepper spray under that purple <laughs> pillow there. Can it's you explain the first either. guy? Because I was trying to pay attention. Mike? It, oral sex with a guy and the girlfriend still with him? Yeah. yeah. Right. And okay. He, How'd this happen? Like, some guy just proposed it to him, so he thought, okay. And, oh. and is she he still with him? She's uh -huh. still with him, and he didn't think, uh, he doesn't understand why she has a problem with Because that. it wasn't his idea. It wasn't his idea. Mm. And it only happened once a year. You have that all the Marty time, right? You just <laughs> randomly get approached by men and. Just like go on with New it. Year's. <laughs> Pop uh <-huh>. cork. <laughs> All right, you want to talk about uh, <laughs> you want to talk about the NBA? You want to talk about your charitable foundation? You want to talk about TV? What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about some freaky stuff on television. <laughs> All right. I don't know, you know, when I was on, I can't believe you said that. I wasn't allowed to say a lot of stuff that I'm looking forward to saying on your show. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good. Screw the charitable foundation. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's make fun of the kid's sexuality. <laughs> Gloria. Hello? You're uh, on line one. What's your question there? Yeah, my boyfriend played, by, played um, baseball in high school, and he had a really bad accident, and they had to replace one of his testicles with a silicone implant. And um, I've seen it, and it looks really fake and kind of disgusting. And I know he's really insecure about it because he wants to have sex all the time. And Wait a minute. Well, let, me, let me stop you there. What no, do you no, mean? no, no, no. <laughs> Drew's going to ask, how can it look fake and disgusting if it's inside of the scrotum? Exactly. It, no, it looks like a marble. Like, you can see it. I mean, the other like, kind of just hangs there. But this one, this, this one, one spins no, like this a drain. looks like it's a marble. It looks, it looks hard. It looks what? It looks hard. It looks perfectly round. Listen, how does something... Fair. Well, first off, wait a minute. No, how, how, do you, no, how do you decipher density? Yeah, you know what I mean? Looking at it. When you look at a balloon that's filled with air or you look at a balloon that's filled with cement, it's not that well, one have looks. have you ever seen one personally? Uh, yes, I've seen several. I've, I've, I've examined many people with those. And, and, and you can't tell the difference? I, no, not until I examine and feel it. And even then, it tends to feel rather natural. Well, he, he showed it to me the first time and we were my, having sex. Let's, admi let's admit, you got some wine coolers in you and you're in a jacuzzi. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what with the heat, the alcohol? <laughs> Listen, I, I, because I deal with a lot of older patients, I see, I've seen people with different kinds of prostheses. They, they put uh, acrylic and sort of glass prostheses at one time, uh -huh. and they look fine, too. It, it's all about just filling the scrotum with something that looks natural. Why well, are you his so does not look time? natural. I don't know. He told right. me it was silicone. All right, that's fine. Okay, this, is, this is the point. All the point right. is that he, he showed me when, he first, when we were first about to have sex, and he said, look, don't get scared. You know, that's the first thing he said. And I saw it, and it did look really weird. And I think that he just wants to have sex all the time because he feels insecure that he only has one testicle. How old is he? He's 22. He wants to have sex all the time because he's 22. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wait, but what? Why, why, why do you have to have... If one of your testicles is not there, why do you need a fake one? You don't. It's to make it look more normal. Well, really? who's looking at it? Like, how did... Well, Gloria, Gloria, actually. Yeah. And apparently Drew <laughs> looks at his fair share. <laughs> she said the best thing. She said, why is he spending so much time... Looking at it. ...on the scrotum? Oh, I thought you meant... Well, should have been he, spending time. She can well, spend the time I didn't get my question. question. Oh, oh, what's your question? What's your question? Okay, well, I was wondering... Okay, now, he just has one testicle, whatever. Right. And apparently, he gets... What, he has half the um, testosterone than a normal no, guy, is no, that true? No, that's not true. He has everything exactly normal. One, tes one test he can completely compensate. Yeah. Gloria, this is terrible. If this freaks you out, just leave the guy. This Don't is give your, him this a is bag Gloria's full problem. of crap yeah. to carry around with. There's nothing wrong with him. It, it, if it, you it, had a mastectomy and lost one of your breasts, this would be a very scary thing for you to deal with. It would never look as good as the testicle looks. Leave him alone. Uh, thank you. Uh, a man's penis is like a, a jet that can fly on one engine, and, and right? And since when has anything, <laughs> has anything that, absolutely, uh, more better than that. I love you. It's better, it's better than a jet that can fly on one engine. <laughs> yeah, better than that, but, but since when has anything, any aesthetic value been placed on the scrotum? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what you're down there for. Yeah, it's, it's like saying, like, Look boy, at your, your dog's ass is unusually ugly. <laughs> 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 you, you know what I mean? They're well, horrible maybe. looking, and you're and you're right. You shouldn't be seeing them anyway. No, you pick, pick a position. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to see it. No, he should stay right. Yeah, it's a glorious Speaking kind to of the freak. microphone. Glorious but let me ask. <laughs> well, then she doesn't like fake boobs either, huh? Does that uh, make a difference? Mm. I, I I don't know. I'm guessing she's just uptight and freaking herself out about the whole right. thing yeah. and getting half a man sort of thing mm -hmm. going. And this poor bastard. It's yeah. going to be ruined by her. Mm. All right, uh, <laughs> Jennifer. Hello. You're 19. What's going on? Well, my fiance's best friend keeps calling me while my fiance's at work, asking me to sleep with him, and you know he'll tell me things that he wants to do. He wants to do with me. We keep changing our number, and my boyfriend says he won't give it to him, but he he ends up giving it to him. And we're supposed to get married soon. He wants his best friend in the wedding as his best man, but I don't want him in our wedding because of the things he says to me. And what should I do? All right. This is uh, a I dilemma. Wait, uh, John's got a good one. John, you got to sit on that good one and uh, hope it doesn't dissipate like, uh, like gas. We'll come back. John will give his answer. We'll give our answer, and we'll give it to Jennifer.
today. 323-520-LOVE. Long distance charges may apply. More Love Line with uh, John Sally. And uh, we are just talking to John during the break, found out he's about seven foot. And I was just thinking to myself, Drew, you know how I think about height a lot, especially when we're flying? Yeah. And we're 6'2", and we're right. uh, stuffed in stuffed coach, and I'm performing yeah. oral sex on myself because uh, <laughs> the guy in front of me wanted to take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is one of those things where John, if he was born 100 years ago and there's no uh, NBA, he'd be screwed because he'd be stuffed in coach. Wait a minute, there wouldn't be airplanes. Yeah. i got to think this one out. <laughs> My point is, is, his height is what enables him to ride first class. Right. You Depends know what I'm saying? If, you, yes, if your yes. agent negotiates because, that in your contract. Right. <laughs> he's tall, he's an NBA, yeah. was an NBA star, and right. now it's parlayed that into more. But the point is, is that's what's keeping him out, and that's what would have screwed him if he was in back. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of thinking going on during the break, apparently. <laughs> Everything but the phone call. What was, what was this call about, Jennifer? The call She's was, this married. guy keeps calling right. uh, and oh. while her fiancé is at work. But she's 19. How old is your fiancé? My fiancé's 21. He's setting you up. Because if oh. he stayed friends with her, with the guy, then it's set up to see if she would sleep with him so he doesn't... Oh, it's a test. Oh. Interesting. Oh, John. Let's, right. get the, let's get an audience comment, though. Hold on. Well, well, I just think if your fiance is, you know, if he, he should understand where you're coming from, and if he doesn't, his best friend isn't respecting you. So, I mean, you should give him an ultimatum, you know, let him know, hey, you should understand that Kids. we can't, we can't be, to, we can't be together if okay. you're gonna let your best friend hit on me, you know. He should be able to understand yep, that totally your best friend right. can't, can't be doing that, and he, he's obviously not listening to you. Well, I, I'm, I'm already ready to give him an ultimatum. I'm ready to tell him the wedding's off if he doesn't stand up to his best friend and tell him to leave me alone. Yeah, but you know what? There's a little bit of that point when you have to say to somebody, the wedding is off unless you do. You're not really at the right place to get married because what are you going to do with the next problem? There's no yeah. ultimatum to throw. You probably just aren't ready for this pass yet. He's definitely not ready for it. And Is he the father of the, the child that's in the background? Um, no, he's not, but I'm pregnant with his child now. All right, see? <laughs> so when I'm the... in charge, there's going to be trouble for people like you, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of trouble. <laughs> oh, what's going on? And garbage men, by the way, and <laughs> pregnant garbage men especially. <laughs> They're going to be screwed. Uh, what's up with you, Jennifer? <laughs> Come on, you're 19, you, you have a kid from a prior relationship, now you're pregnant again, you're not married again. What's up? Well, we're supposed to get married in March, and it's just, I, you know, I just want him to tell his best friend to just leave me alone calling me. He'll even, he'll even call here when, sometimes he'll call when my boyfriend's here and my fiance's here, and he'll tell his, he'll, when my fiance picks up the phone, he'll, he'll tell his, he'll be like, where's Jennifer? All right, but what's up with you that you can't assert yourself correctly? You know what I mean? Why do you take the, any phone calls from this guy? Why can't you... As soon as you hear his voice, hang up. Why do you have any communication with this guy? And why well, don't you make it clear? Right, hey, we'll do a little love line role playing here. Well, he's uh, the best man. She has to well, have I've, something. I've hung up on him a couple times, but he just keeps calling and keeps calling and keeps calling. Uh, role and play. I don't know what to do. Hold I on. Keep, role I, play. I, Jennifer, role hold play. On. Hold on. Uh, Diane, you yeah. be Jennifer. Okay. I'll be uh, this guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, it's the best man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you never need another call. mother, huh? You need to never call here again. Well, why don't be stuck up? Oh, we're not stuck up. I'm gonna call your mother and tell her what a good man you really are. Oh, okay. I'll never call again. <laughs> there you go. You see how we sum everything up like a sitcom. <laughs> Jennifer has, I, I, I can tell you Jennifer has trouble asserting herself because she's got a kid uh, and no husband. She's got another kid and, and she no husband she, and a best she, man and, coming well, on to her And abu 19. abusers see her as a potential victim and she plays that role beautifully. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You, you, you can't have babies unless you're married? No, you, you can, but look at her. She's, well, you... You shouldn't, but you can. You shouldn't if you can't She's, afford them financially by yourself or you don't she have never the said she was broke. She just oh, said. Um, I know she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she's, she's, she's 19. 
For, think, of, think of that, though. You're 19, you got a kid, and you don't know where that guy is. Well, now, she didn't say that. She said she uh, got well, a kid okay. from a previous, you, and she's pregnant with this guy. Jennifer? Uh huh. Where's uh, Papa son number one? <laughs> He's the best man. He lived a couple towns over. Where, where is he? He lives a couple towns over in Poughkeepsie. I know where he lives. It's just I don't want to deal with him at all. Cause, all right, so he's out of your life. He, the, the child has no father. Yeah. That's right. not good for the child. I mean, the, you know, you look at any data on psychiatric symptoms, criminal behavior, substance abuse, it correlates strongly with absence of fathers. So it's bad for the kids. Do you want to ask your average income? No, uh, no, 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 no. I, listen, I'm this close to killing myself during the next commercial <laughs> break. Yes, it is. With, now with the garbage man and this guy living in Poughkeepsie, I'm this close. You understand? <laughs> Sam. Oh, the via. Oh, now this is it. I'm going over the top. <laughs> a via TV phone. All right, what's going on? All right, um, I got a problem. I'm sleeping with uh, four girls right now. Not this very moment, but in the recent history, and uh, and three of them have boyfriends. And uh, the one who doesn't have a boyfriend, I'm trying to sleep with her roommate. And uh, I just have a problem with, with the ones with girlfriends. They always kind of end up in my, or the ones with boyfriends. They always kind of just end up in my room and in my bed. And I end up sleeping with them even though I know they have boyfriends. And uh, the other girl who I'm trying to sleep with um, is my roommate's best friend from back home. <laughs> this is bogus. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it's, it's not bogus. No, it's, no, I'm serious. It's, I'm serious. It's, my penis is too big. Yes, yeah, and I'm so call. beautiful. Men won't hit on right. me. No, no, no. Please call. help me. I, so, <laughs> yeah, it's not even like that. Your problem is, is, yeah, how can you possibly make women unattracted to you for just short periods of time? <laughs> well, no. you try, like, rubbing feces on yourself <laughs> or anything just to keep women away? Well, no, it's like, for some reason, the, only the ones with the boyfriends really, really are attracted to me or whatever. And that bothers you? Yeah, I mean, I want, I want a girl who it will be my girl and not just, Come well, to me when she needs a little bit of loving. Well, you're too busy with the uh, ones with, with the partners. Well, I mean, I mean why'd they, you they... stop? Why did you not participate with those people? Well, because I, I can't say no. Because he's the most popular guy on campus with the, the via, via TV, TV phone. phone. <laughs> so everybody yeah. can watch him bang. Um, <laughs> did you say bang on his show? Oh. I think so. Uh, okay. It, there, can't listen, say no. there, there's no one to blame for what's going on in your life other than yourself. And the only way things are going to change is if you make change. And the first and most obvious change would be not to do these things that you are doing and to begin to look in a different direction. And I mean, people talk, and maybe people know you're doing this stuff. What, right. what woman who's looking for a monogamous relationship is going to get involved with you? Well, if he's on campus and he's sleeping with four women, mm -hmm. he said he had a problem. Yeah, I, that's See? not a problem to your average 21-year-old college student. Listen, do we want to dignify this with an answer? No. You, you too. John and Adam. Now, I think you're the man, kid. Yeah. Without, <laughs> you're college, you're getting laid. Without the television. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jen. What's the matter, Adam? You thinking about the garbage man again? I'm just thinking about, <laughs> you got a pain I'm thinking about this face. guy. Just the, he didn't strike me as a sort of a Julio, Julio Iglesias of <laughs> yeah, the and fraternity, reality, you know? He's hanging around with three girls who all have boyfriends, and maybe their boyfriends are kind of jealous. Now he's going to go on national TV and say he's sleeping with girls well, with boyfriends. Uh, look, I, yeah, I, I can accept that, that, the, that he's lonely and wants a real relationship. So go get one. Fine. Yeah, Stop what you're doing. Get a, good, get a real one. All right. Yeah, don't clap. That's, yeah. That's mediocre advice at best. <laughs> Jen is on the phone. Jen? Hi. Hi. Um, about a year ago, I noticed that I had this little bump on my left breast. Uh-oh. Well, lately, um, well, I guess in the past two months, I noticed that it was getting bigger. Um, and now it's like sort of a main little bump in the middle, and then it's like pink around it. And it looks like a little baby's nipple. And I was wondering, is it possible I could have grown a third nipple? Or... I mean, I don't know what it could be. All right. Oh that, uh, that could happen. I saw it in James Bond once. The guy had a oh superfluous God. one right in the middle. Gold nipple, I think it was. Or maybe that's something else I write it. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll, we'll be back with uh, John Sally. I'm Andy Dick, and these are the bitches of the century. You're watching Loveline on MTV. Oh, wow!
can email us your questions at loveline3 at AOL.com. If they are not true, we will ridicule you. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just, I just thought about our uh, last caller with the Via TV phone started. Uh, Drew busted him on, on his first lie, which was he went to uh, Kent State UMass. or something. UMass. Yeah. UMass. Yeah. Drew yeah. popped him. So he was lying from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, but he wasn't lying about the four chicks he was banging. All right. John <laughs> Sally is here. My mouth was watering. <laughs> Three NBA rings. God bless him. Because you didn't get to date at all in college, No, right? I didn't date. No, you're no, too I, busy. I was I was in school. I was a diligent student at Georgia mm -hmm. Tech, and I was uh, I went to practice three hours, and I went to study hall, and then I, and then I had church. a meditation. And church and temple. I was meditation. And, you know, I talked to my mother every single day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Look at all the hair on my should hand. be different for <laughs> John from any athlete, please. Uh, Jen is 22. Thinks she's forming a third nipple. On the uh, on on the breast, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that possible? No. Can we get these people's phone number? No. <laughs> uh, Jen, I am really concerned about this. Yes. Where where is it? It's about um, an inch left of my regular nipple. On which breast? On my left breast. So it's l outside lateral to the left side. And, mm -hmm. and is, is, is role play role play is again? Show us. <laughs> show us. What the, <laughs> have, have you have you been pregnant lately? Re recently, anything like that? No. Is there any any dimpling? Does the skin dimple down there where that thing is? No, it puckers out. All right. Is there any? Uh, is the, does the Wait skin? Wait a minute. You can pucker up, and I'm not sure if you can pucker out. Does I mean, the skin it, it, look like an orange peel overlying it at all? Does it no. kind of? Okay. No. Can it be a it, mole? It, it could probably be what's called mastitis. It's probably an infl or a cyst. Uh, but the, you can get abscesses and inflamed glands that swell up and become red and tender. Is it tender? Like yeah. a regular nipple. But, but it is critical yeah, that right. you have a doctor look at this. This could be breast cancer. My this could be an infected water, cyst. Man. It could be a lot of different breast things. Cancer. But it is a it, it does not sound like breast cancer. You're awfully young to have that. I don't think you don't have that in your family anywhere, do you? No. Okay, so the probability of that is remote. But I, but you can get you know these I've had seen episodes of mastitis become quite serious. They mm -hmm. can abscess, get severely infected. It can be a mess. But you've got to get a doctor to look at it today. Jen, I, Jen sounds like she was sold on the third nipple yeah. notion. Well, that's what oh, my oh. boyfriend thought. Jen, no. You, your boyfriend, the guy who smokes weed and uh, works at the junkyard? That <laughs> boyfriend? The batting cage. The guy who works at the batting cage and... Uh, <laughs> And you guys keep viewers. That, that guy, please. <laughs> Adam abuses all of them. You were too nice, John. Oh, no, listen, uh, if your boyfriend had a wart on his knuckle, they think he was growing a sixth finger? Or what do you, what do you think he had a wart? If people are going to get extra nipples, they are born with them, and they're called supernumerary nipples, and they, they're in, the, in a nipple line. We're all born like animals with a line of nipples that resorb and leave just the two, but some get left behind. What? <laughs> I don't like all that stuff <laughs> about us all being women at the beginning. Right, right. Now I got the uh, look like a sow who's nursing, you know. With the nipples. I got to masturbate later. Like, so I, I don't need all of this going through my head. You know what I mean? I can't think straight. All right, George is uh, go to the doctor. George is on the phone. How you doing? What's going on there, George? Uh, well, I've been uh, seeing my girlfriend for about two years now, and uh, when we first started going all the way, um, she started this little fetish of hers where she liked to spank me. And, you know, at first I thought it was kind of erotic. You know, it was pretty, you know, kind of exciting. And then, I don't know, as we progressed, the more we went all the way, the more, like, I got, like, she'd just do it harder and harder. And now it's to the point where I get, like, actual welts on my butt. <laughs> And she will like dig her fingernails in my back, and sometimes like the next day I look, and I'll have like a little scab where, you know, she's actually drawn blood. And you know, my question to you is, you know, I feel like I really, I, I really love her a lot, and I would like to try and get to the next level in our relationship. But where else do you go? Well, yeah, what's the next level? Well, she I, shot no, I mean, my like, arm off. On a serious level, but I, I'm having, <laughs> no, I'm having me problem, with it. I have a problem with this. I mean, I, I, you know, it really you makes me feel get, uncomfortable, you and I don't get to feel a more intimate in level with, with her. her? Is that I'm what sorry? you mean? You want to get to a more intimate level? Well, I just want to, I mean, I think it's important to feel comfortable, you know, especially yeah. in bed together. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, wait a minute. Diana, I'm trying to understand what the next level in this relationship is. Does that mean more committed? 
No, I just mean where we can be totally comfortable around each other no matter what, and I don't feel like... You're not there you know, yet. You can't, yeah, talk to her. you can't talk to her about this. Yeah, and I'm scared right. because I, don't, I want her to feel comfortable, and I don't want her to think that, you know, uh, well, that, I, I, that what she's doing is terrible and blah, blah, blah. Where is she right now? Where is she? Yeah. Like, at this moment? Yeah. Um, at home? Can we, can we hook them up on a phone line and try to straighten this all out? Wait, wait, wait. Well, Does he I, not I like getting that, spanked? You didn't what I'm telling question. you, you is like I, I'm trying to figure out how to talk to her about it myself. You, don't want to, you wouldn't want help doing it. Well, I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, we're a mature, we're two mature people, and I, we need to be able to handle this, but I just am asking for some sort of advice as far but as, I, like... I don't understand what you expect from us other than to facilitate it for you. I mean, except to say, go talk to her about it. I mean, that... That's all we can you, tell you're you. You're saying you're a mature person, but if somebody's knocking you around in bed and you don't feel safe what, and you don't is, feel comfortable, how is big that, is this is woman? Is that a healthy? Is that a healthy thing? George, do you is, think it's a healthy thing? Well, uh, I don't think it's healthy if I feel uncomfortable. It's not healthy. Yeah, it's it's Perfect. it's it, in a contained way, it could be fine, but if it makes you uncomfortable and you don't feel safe enough or close enough or there's not enough mutuality in this relationship for you to be able to even pipe up, that's a big problem. Do you think right? that, like, we should, like, I should talk to her about it and have her stop that, or do you think we should just stop going all the way altogether? No, I think you should talk about it. This is why I wanted to get her hooked up with this mm. to see what her perceptions of him were, too. But, George, how do we make it through the rest of your life? You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, but listen, let's say it's a signal that turns green. There's some confusion. I got to make a phone call. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? She's beating the crap out of you. Here's Our caller, uh, he's getting big welts on his ass. Our caller before this would have thought you were growing a second ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't know how to tell her to back off a little. Wait, let me ask, let me ask you a question before you answer. It. How is he getting beat? Is, is he, is he, um, okay, we got to pick the right words. Him. While they're having sex, yeah. or yeah. Is, he, is he laying down and she's spanking him? Uh, no, while we're you know, doing it. While so why don't you grab her hand while you're uh, because doing what you're supposed George to George doesn't believe she will be comfortable and get He's off afraid. sexually, and he won't satisfy her if she can't do this. George, there may be a whole other thing that she doesn't want it going this far either, only you're not saying anything, so she's well, trying to she's, up the she's end. She's pushing along. She's sorry. Here's what's going on. I'm going to summarize. I'm going to do about 15 seconds. We're going to the next call. She's got some problems, yes. or she wouldn't be beating the crap out of him. Yes. Believe me, she's got some problems. He senses those problems, and it makes it hard to talk to her because yes. she's a little bit unstable, because already a little volatile. He's, probably all, he's already, already got some stuff. responsible for her feelings and containing right. her all over he's the place. He's scared he's going to get to the truth, which is she's got some problems. So he don't want to confront her and find out about the real her. Or, or escalate her. Why don't he spank her? It. I know a lot of girls, you know, in my past, that <laughs> <laughs> love to get spanked. So why don't he flip her over? Put it in the lock hole, <laughs> you know, with the arch thing. And, and finally, if that, if that is not an option. <laughs> the, 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 actual, the best way to establish some communication is at a time, a quiet time when everybody's emotions are down, and not necessarily right. breakfast table or anything, but not, not in the middle of Fine. some heated not discussion or sex. Sometime when you can so, begin to, a dialogue all right, that is... Come on, uh, driving into the ground. Well, I'm going to spank you in a minute. Right, Keep going. <laughs> Just talk to her. I'm going to right along. But I, most time when people don't talk to people, it's because they're scared of what the answers are going to be or what they're going to find out. Or afraid of their reaction. Out. People escalate yes. defensively mm. in reaction to things. All right. Brooke. Yeah. What's going all on? My, all my life I've been attracted to guys that are, like, taken in a relationship. I've tried to break this evil cycle by, like, having sex and dating guys that are available and I can't seem to have an orgasm with them. I don't know what's wrong with me and I don't understand why I need to be the other woman to have an orgasm. Mm. Yeah. You know I'm a line? Oh, we know. Go. <laughs> Diane, go ahead. You molested when you were a child? No, no. Was she? No. No, this, no, this is, is dad, this is dad, dad had an affair. Dad had an affair. Did no. dad have an affair? Mom had nope. an affair so. Dad died, dad took off. Nope. Alcoholic? Dad. Nope. You like to be a bad girl? Okay. You like to be a bad girl? That's I guess. Thinks, so <laughs> I need to, can I sit in your seat? I love this show. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> hey, oh, this ring. Oh, wait a minute. It's got to be. Oh, okay. There's more here. There's more here. But now we're getting here. into the game part. I think this is why they don't talk a good portion of the time. They're going to defend themselves that the theory is true, that she's just a bad girl. Yeah, yeah. That That's what she wants to be. We're not trying to play a game. There is something in your formation that led you to believe that you don't deserve enough 
or that you're wrong, you're, you're not good enough, and we're trying to figure yeah, out what or, that is. Or you're is. unsafe, you're vulnerable and unsafe when somebody is truly available to you. Mm -hmm. It's only okay when somebody is not available and you know the relationship's going nowhere. Okay, where's your dad? He's at home. With, with your mother? With your mom? No, they're divorced. When did no. that happen? When did that happen? No. Oh, when I was back in the fifth grade. And what happened to cause the divorce? They just didn't get along. What it was you, a very, like, a mutual divorce. What do you think was happening there? Differences was, of opinion. What was your fantasy as a child that, that had happened there? And if she says dad was having an affair, I'm going to run over and take that camera out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think dad had an affair? No. Is All dad right. remarried? Thank God we get to keep dad the camera. Dad is remarried. How long after the divorce did he get remarried? <laughs> um, four, three years, three or four years. All right. All right, so well, the best of your knowledge, he wasn't cheating. He never did anything, he was an alcoholic, he didn't grab you, he didn't do anything like that. Nope. And, and the, the, you didn't, were you in, were there's a lot of fighting and stuff going on before, you, uh, before he left? Not at all. All right, no and, and uh, no brother that died or anything like that? No. Well, it, I, I would still First speculate. First boyfriend? No, I still Hold on, let me just say, how old were you? First boyfriend, oh, maybe like... Real boy, well, yeah, like when did you lose your virginity? Well, I was 16. And 16. real, real yeah. boyfriend, first real boyfriend, did that end badly? No, not at all. Okay. I, I still think something around that divorce is making you feel, well, I suspect, and I, I really, I, if you really look at what your feelings were like back then, you Are may you find... Are you an only child, bro? No, I'm not. I do have an older brother. Yeah. Well, watch out. What's he doing? He's just retarded. Oh. He is going to school. <laughs> Yeah. At the gay porn academy? Uh, <laughs> this, is not, this is not that. This I'm is trying not, to find something here. This is, not, this is not a huge deal. It's not that she. It's just that she has a particular difficulty being vulnerable in relationships where men are available to her, and, and she had a split up in her family at a, at a delicate age of development. And it, there's something there. We, she can't, we can't. We can't get at it, but there's something there. And if mm -hmm. she gets through that, or find, or just takes herself by the hand and gets into a relationship with somebody, stops the behavior. This, this is our advice. If there's nothing there, okay, stop. Stop right. just being, stop being with any committed, you know, unavailable men. Start being with men that are available and see what feelings come out and yeah, It will developed. take longer to get to the point of orgasm, but once you get comfortable with it, it'll be a lasting thing. Maybe she doesn't like commitment. Yeah. Well, she's afraid, a, of well, she's, she's afraid of it. She's afraid of it. So it's easy just to get what you want from somebody who has afraid a lot to lose. Yeah, and maybe, mm -hmm. maybe married guys are working a little harder. Oh, you know what I mean? Fair. Fair. Oh, yeah. True, you know. Ebony! <laughs> Ebony! Oh, hi. Hi. We got Ivory, Ivory, Ivory and Ebony here. Okay. Um, I go to school with my boyfriend, and my roommate's boyfriend and my boyfriend are really good friends and everything. And one day I walked in his room, and him, her boyfriend, like the whole basketball team was watching a porno tape. And when I, my, they were watching a porno tape of my roommate and her boyfriend having sex. Oh, boy. And she didn't appear to know that she was being videotaped. And my boyfriend told me that I should mind my business. You know, I've been with him for like four years, and I don't want to mess up anything with him, but I feel bad for my roommate. What happened? What's wrong with that? I, yeah, nothing wrong with the entire basketball team once you have sex. That's what teams do the greatest things. So. Well, wait, wait, wait. wait. We, we all study we, film. Before we get into <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to take a break, and uh, John will explain that last statement, possibly apologize for it when we come back. <laughs> If you have a question for Love Line, you can call us 24 hours a day, 323-520-LOVE. Long distance charges may apply. We uh, got more Love Line with John, Sally. And when we left off, we're speaking to Ebony. Ebony's 18, calling from college. Roommates. Uh, boyfriend is on the basketball team. Well, both of them are on the basketball team. Her your roommate and uh, roommate's boyfriend, boyfriend, and boyfriend and your boyfriend. Okay, they're all sitting around watching a tape of uh, your my roommate and her boyfriend having sex and she didn't I didn't think I don't I honestly don't think she knows she was being videotaped she don't appear to be that type of person can you ask her that information are you close enough friends to say do you guys ever I mean I met tape? her this August I just started school this August I mean me and her have become really close we live together I mean we go to parties and everything but my boyfriend he told me to mind my own business I don't, don't know do I'm, I understand your dilemma because I would I don't think I could let somebody go through this. This will haunt her for the rest of their, her life. And if somebody videotaped her unknowingly, 
it's a huge legal problem. There's somebody thrown out of my college for this that lived downstairs, and a whole sorority of girls had to get the guy off. This is terrible. If there was a video camera in the closet while you're having sex with your boyfriend and now it's running around a basketball team, that is you know, horrendous. Really gets me well, Liz, I like to rule. defend myself for a second with Diane. First off, it was a security <laughs> camera. <laughs> I was there because I thought my roommate was getting into my CD collection. And I, I don't have any power whether it's on or off. You know what I'm saying? Couple of beers, you forget your, about your environment, and as happens, right, bro? I, I mean, take it, take it away, Diane. I'm, you're saying it all right here. I mean, I, I agree. Terrible. It's a serious and issue. Your boyfriend. But is, you're in your apartment, right? And no, we were it. in. They were in my dorm. What? Yeah, it. but none of your business. You walked into your dorm, and there's uh, the team hanging out. No, they weren't in my room. They were in my boyfriend's room. Okay, so you walked into his room. Yeah. I, well, oh. actually, I heard a lot of commotion, and I kind of peeked in. I didn't want to. Like break up what was going on, and I, you know, right. I saw them watching the video Look, tape. All right, forget the details. Wrap right. it up because I, I think it's clear the issues here. Right, your boyfriend, if he's going to turn against you from this, I would honestly be a little bit worried. What your boyfriend's doing with your sexual activity and what he's sharing with his friends—it's not the right thing. It is illegal. It is wrong. This will destroy this girl if yeah, she has and, no idea. And what kind of relationship do you have when he says uh, "butt out"? Right. Uh, anyway, all right, hold the book up there, Drew. Look how handsome we are. That's wonderful. We're giving it to John because, I don't know, we just want to hold the book up, really. We're going to take it back for him as soon as the show ends. Uh, John Sally, everybody. This is a great show. We do appreciate you coming in. I wish all guests were as easy as John. Uh, you know. All right, that does it for another episode of Bad Love Line. Uh, so until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew and Diane Farr. Put the mug out. Diane. Mahalo.